In this video, we are going to talk about sheep and rust proofing. Two things that you wouldn't think would appear in the same sentence, but they do. So we were at the Gaydon Land Rover show talking to everyone and someone was saying about my Range Rover Classic and we will see the Range Rover Classic in a bit and saying, he's in really good nick, but you ought to think about rust proofing. And I remember wax oil from back in the day. And then someone said, oh no, 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 it's the world's moved on, Simon. You need to keep up. And people say that a lot to me. And they said, Lanagard. I said, never heard of it, mate. So this isn't a paid promotion. I have nothing to do with Lanagard. I've paid good money. I will put the price of this kit on the screen now. So we have bought this Lanagard stuff because I read up on it and it does seem quite good. Now, they don't make a big thing about it, but apparently it is derived from some sort of sheep's wax. I don't even know sheep had wax, but in their fur or some fur, their fur, destiny. Yeah. Is it yeah. fur? Wool, wool, wool. in sheep's wool. Yeah. We're good here. Um, so apparently, and apparently it smells a bit sheepy. So I bought this kit. So let's have a look at the kit. You don't get the cup of tea in the kit. You get some Lanagard remover, which is sort of dissolve it if you get it on a window or something where it shouldn't be. You get some Lanagard grease, which you can sort of grease up and put over stuff. And I think if you drill into your body or something, you can use that as a sort of anti-corrosion grease. So that's good. And then this is the main thing. Now, it's quite a liquidy thing, I think. We'll see. It sounds sloshy, um, and apparently it smells a bit sheep-like. I don't quite know what sheep smell like, but I think I guess the thing. Um, you get a little sprayer, so you fill the liquid in here, and much like a sort of house plant thing, we can spray it. Now, it's a non-conductive, non-chemical, natural, non-corrosive. In fact, it seems to say that it sort of prevents or reverses corrosion, and it's basically a film. Now, the the closest I can sort of think is it seems to be like sort of tree sap. You know, when you get tree sap on your car and you can't wash it off and you need to really, and it, but it's quite thin and satin. Apparently it's going to give us a thin, sheeny, anti-corrosive, self-healing, self-homologating. So it's sort of like tree sap that you spray on the underside of your car. Now you could do this on a on an older Defender or something as an alternative to paint, you do have to reapply it periodically every couple of years or something. But you could also put it on your new Defender or your newer car if you just want to keep it top tip and pristine. So we are going to, in this video, apply it to our Range Rover Classic. Now apparently, you know, it, you're, when things get that light surface rust, it looks horrible, but it's nothing to worry about. Apparently if we put this over it, it will stop it looking yellow, protect it, and make it all look lush. So we are going to go now and pressure wash. Destiny's going to pressure wash the Rangy Classic underneath. We're going to put it on those funny, scary, ramp, sea sort of things we've got. And then we'll let it dry, and then we'll get and lanagard it. Right, I'm going to finish my cup of tea. Oh, we've lost the sheep as well. We'll have to find the sheep for the bit of the video next. We've got that fiberglass sheep we bought. I'm a bit worried someone's stolen the sheep. It, it keeps moving in the warehouse. The warehouse guys have got this thing where they keep moving it to a different shelf. But I think the sheep's moved itself now. Right, let's go and wash the car. So we're in low ratio because we've got low ratio. So we should be able to crawl up there nice and controlled. So right, you give me a few points. Let's have a go. Right, that's always, it's as scary as it looks. Right, we got it right in the end. You've got to get the space in right. It's a bit Heath Robinson, but right, it's good. So we have got the classic up. So let's have a look underneath. How rusty is she? Let's have a look. I better do this, Destin. I don't want to crush you. You can do the pressure washing. Right, so let's have a look. Has she got, so we've painted some of this where we were in France. So let's have a look under our rangy classic. So you can see we've painted all the rear. We've got some sort of surface rusty bits here where we can't get to with the paintbrush. There we go, we've got all the, we've got our new brake pads we've put on. You can see up in there, there's some sort of surface rust. That's where we're gonna be, look at treating that. Up behind there, on that cross member along there. But generally she's looking all good. Now, you can even put this stuff on the exhaust. Apparently, 
and these so we can coat all that all the moving parts wiring we can co coat with it brake lines we can coat with it um just not brake discs and fan belts apparently even the engine if we wanted to but we'll try coating just the sort of surface rust that's forming on these these um sort of suspension bars here i don't even know what they're called but there we go so there's our rebuilt engine in there there's everything there so it's all not looking too bad so let's just give it a pressure wash off get rid of some of this sort of surface grease and stuff on here and then we're ready to lana guard it it's looking quite good under here no signs of any obvious leak i've got to be honest she is an absolute gem i do love her to bits right so yeah, we're not so worried about getting the top clean it's more about getting the underbody clean so we can get all the chassis clean get all just get all the loose bits off then we can let it dry and lana guard it all up i've just crawled underneath and done the bit from underneath destiny's just finishing off the other side there Woo. she's looking good in this weather it's not going to take long to dry off i don't think it's friday afternoon whether we'll leave it for the weekend i'm not sure Right, let's have a look. So we've got the bottle. I've got a little bit of a funnel. Let's try it. a bit of a funnel in there. Let's see how how liquidy this stuff is. Well, it is quite liquidy, which is, I guess it's got to be. And then we're ready to screw. Let's screw this top on. I'm going to spray the underside of the chassis. I'm on my own. It's the weekend. So let's have a look how how it looks now. The rangey's dried off. And let's squirt some sheepy stuff. What does it smell like? Oh, it smells... Mmm, oh, like a new wax jacket, but stronger. All right, you join me underneath the Range Rover. You can see we've still got a bit of dirt on there, but we haven't done too bad. Now let's have a go with this. This is always coming. Now, I guess we've got an adjustable nozzle. So where it sort of looks surface rusty, we just spray it in. And I guess we just hope it sticks and... It doesn't seem to be running off a lot. It does seem quite sticky. So let me have a, let me have a sort of blast there. It sort of makes it look shiny. Right, I'll keep going. Well, let's have a little play with the nozzle. See, can you adjust the nozzle? I just spun it out of it. Ah, oh, look, look, look. So if you've got a really hard to reach area, you can, obviously, we've all used spray guns before. But yeah, that's quite trick, isn't it? So anywhere I can see, got a line of sight right I'll get squirting right I've nearly used up just that half of that pot but it's still going and just spraying it around getting it from every angle and it is it's when you paint it with a brush there's bits you just can't reach and you can see they look a bit dusty but I'm trying to get a good angle on it but we can just go let's see if I can get a bit and show you the sort of effect so this rear corner here and then that, that pipe there. And it seems to be soaking in, which makes it look makes it look good. So look if I can do this front this front arch there, I don't know if you can see there. And then the the sort of shock turret. Well you're never gonna sort of be able to paint a spring or get in there but you can just spray this in and it seems so I've only used half of one pot it seems to last forever where it's so thin and I can spray right up inside these sort of inner wings in here I'm not too worried where it goes now you can spray plastic I mean if, if you want it you, you can spray plastic but you don't really want to get it on the paintwork. But plastic, rubber, you're not supposed to get it on brake discs um, or fan belts, which I guess you want fix friction on those. Right, someone's calling me. 
Right, so here's a good example, this bit here. So you'd never get and paint all up on those different washers and that. So spray all that on. Apparently it's non-toxic. Let's hope so. There you go. Now this bit's plastic, but there you go. It's safe on plastics. Right, let me keep going. So there we go, that's the first step done, which is just the spray in it everywhere. But even like this tow bar bracket that was looking a, a bit, so you can just spray all the back of it. Look. Now it looks a little bit wet at the moment. You can see where I've done it. There's a little bit of dripping, drippage. I've probably overdone it. I've only used half the kit. Tried to keep it away from the brakes, but you can see in there, everything's starting to look sort of, you can see the sort of dry bits there. Where I've perhaps missed a bit there, but it should all sort of look a little bit, and it seems to be sort of soaking in. And I think it's going to dry a little bit satin looking. But you'll see now under here, um, that's that's looking looking pretty sweet. Okay, so there it all is. It's all finally guarded up, um, and I'm hoping it'll look quite factory. And obviously I hammerited those seals on that when I was in in France just because I had some time and they were looking they were looking a bit dodgy and I wanted it to look smart for the MOT in France. Um, but now here you see that spring is looking wet because I've I've just basically soaked everything from the prop to the and we'll, and we'll see we'll see what happens. Um, see what it dries like. Right now I'm quite Oddly getting used to the smell, which is a bit weird. We've still got enough left, I reckon there, you can see, to to inject some. So let me just pour that in here. Now, I don't know whether I should have shaken it first. It looks a bit more globby at the bottom, but maybe that's in my favour if this is for the injection. So I've got a whole other bottle there, and I've got the grease, and I've got the cleaner. Now, I just washed this bottle off with fairy liquid, and it, where it's not set too much, it seemed to come off. Okay, I haven't tried cleaning the table yet. We'll try that later. Right, so now I can put the cover back on. Now apparently I've got the, I can unscrew the nozzle now, and then we can put the uh, injector proboscis on. And then I'll get the old proboscis, and he's got a flash aluminium in, and then screw that on there. Hang on. Right, and now we're ready to go injecting. So there we go, we got whoo! Has it got any sort of, let's have a look how it sprays. Right, so I've just popped this little bung out the hole in the door there. So I should be able to put the proboscis in. So let's just have a look what the spray pattern's like. So there we go, let's do it here. See if we can see this. Right, it's sort of got a bit of a, it's hard, it's hard for me to film it on my own, but it sort of seems to spray it out a little bit. So how long is that compared to the door, do you reckon? Not quite long enough. It's big old doors, these two doors. Should I just unclip that door panel? And now I can hold it now. And if I give it a good squid, you should see the sort of, it, it's got a bit of a sp spray to it. So I think I'll squirt some of this around on the inside of here. I don't know if it'll ever, oh, it's starting to drip out the bottom, but I don't really want that, but we'll, we'll just squirt some of that about. And now we're gonna put some in, inject some in that rear pull it out as we go. I'll sum in that rear cross member. I'll do the same on the chassis. There you go, there's a convenient hole there that should get it into that, that lower bit of that chassis. I don't even know where these rust. But you can start to see already the sort of sheen, the matte finish. We'll have a look underneath now because it's, it's had a couple of hours to dry. Right, there's a hole at the end of the sill here. In fact, there's a few holes in the sill. I think that's well worth doing. And there's another hole in the chassis there. So there's plenty of holes for injecting it in. Sorry, the camera's a bit overexposed. Okay, I'm just gonna, I've put some of this lana guard remover in, in the bottle and I'm gonna use it to clean it. Cause I reckon that, what that probe and the nozzle are just gonna, that wax is gonna set in there. So I'm just gonna flush that out. 
Right, so there you go, this will be my final clip. Now I've gone back to the other camera, it seems to handle the light better. So we've injected the doors, the sills, the chassis, and we still only used one pot. We haven't used the grease. So let's have a look, how, how does it look under here now? I mean, it looks really quite factory. So let me crawl underneath. And it's, it's, it's dried a lot, a lot sort of matter. And then you see like this was just a rusty washer before. Now I know I'd painted some bits, but but it's all the sort of, where are all the springs and that? Well, obviously I hadn't painted the springs. It sort of turned the rust to a nice, sort of the surface rust to a nice satin finish. It actually looks flipping lush under here. Um, obviously you don't need to worry about sort of masking up rubber or other stuff like you would normally do. It's it seems to have just coated it all. I mean, obviously we've got the painted bits that I did there, but they've all matched together. It all just looks nice under here now. So if we look back up, so look at that. So, yeah, we're quite happy with that. That seems to work. I might have missed a bit right up in there, um, but I'll give it another. I'll give it another treat next year. We've got most of it, and I'm really pleased with the sort of this sort of satin look, like even on the rear prop there and the housing and my little funky leveling valve, it's all, it's all good. Right, so let's go and crawl up the front and then that will be the end of this video. So there we go. So thanks to Destiny for helping me wash it yesterday. There you go. Everything is looking factory now. She'll be ready to put back in the barn for the winter.